I really was interested in pharma. It's where I thought, you know, maybe that my career was headed at that point. And the advice that I got was in pharma, there is often a glass ceiling um, if you don't have a PhD. So I applied for the PhD at Bristol, uh, which was in neural dynamics, which was a good combination of um, biological sciences and mathematics and computation. During my PhD, I probably chopped and changed what I wanted to do with my career several times. It gave me the opportunity to kind of explore a bit further. You know, do I really want to be a lecturer? Do I really want to go back into pharma? Do I want to, you know, um, think about what else is out there for me? But really what I loved is doing research. You know, I'm a very curious person. I uh, always want to learn, always want to learn more. And I think a PhD gave me the opportunity to really sort of let my imagination go a bit wild. I think one thing I learned during my PhD that I probably didn't realise very recently is that I learned to become very comfortable with being challenged, also to challenge other people. It's something that I've not encountered as being as common in the corporate world. And I think being able to say to somebody, hey, why are we doing this the way that we're doing it? Or, you know, please can you just explain that to me a bit more because I'd like to understand the reasoning behind this is something that not a lot of people do. And I think coming from an academic environment, that's so commonplace for us. My PhD uh, coincided with the pandemic. The final year of my PhD when I was collecting my last data was when the COVID-19 pandemic happened. Um, all non-essential clinical research had to be stopped because we needed to try, you know, um, direct all our resources into managing the front line of, of healthcare. I had to sort of just learn to go with it, you know? How can I still get my research done? How can I still do something valuable? How can I still complete this project when literally the world around me is completely different to what it was just a few weeks ago? I didn't really realize that I was learning resilience and it's something I think I can see with hindsight that it prepared me. If I could get through that, I think I can get through anything now.